Listen, this is my message, heartfelt, sincere message. Today is a very special day. And no matter where you're at in your life, I want you to know that today, the energies of today are very special. And that if you just simply speak your intention, you say, I am going to do this. I am going to make this happen. Whatever it is that's taking place in your life, maybe nothing at all. You may be at the exact spot you need to be. However, if there's some fine tuning, if there's a little tweaking that needs to take place in your life, Today is a very special day. Today is your day. Today is our day. Today is our collective human day. It's very special for two reasons. <clears throat> the first reason is I look at August 11th, 2021 um, as, in my memory, that the day that some light bulbs were turned on for me, some I say I experienced the download, but certainly some new perspective was provided. Somehow I was able to access that. So in the sense that today, August 11th, um, it's a, a memory for me looking back in my life, the timeline of my life. Um, <clears throat> and where I'm at now, roughly a year later, August 11th, 2022, um, much different perspective, uh, much different focus in my life, uh, much better quality of life, much more uh, involved on all levels from where I was at on that day, August 11th, 2021. And the second reason why I believe today is special and very powerful is because it just so happens to be the super moon, the, the sturgeon moon of August, the last full moon, super moon rather, the last super moon of 2022. But it's very, it's a very powerful energetic moon for stating your intentions and such. Now, the full moon looking back in 2021, um, it actually, <clears throat> it didn't occur on the 11th of August, 2021. It was like, Later in the month, like around the 20th or something, 21st, 22nd, that was when the full moon. But but the, the fact that the memory that I have for the August 11th where I experienced what I describe as a download that kept me in my bed for, you know, instead of getting up and being launching right into whatever mindless pursuit I was going to be involved in, I was basically transfixed in bed receiving these Im images, sensations, visions. Uh, you know, it was enough of an experience where I was, you use the word transfixed while revelations were coming, perspectives were coming. However, later in the month, I do remember this, and this is something that I had forgotten. And the fact that, uh, that I'm learning, you know, that I'm seeing that today, August 11th, is just so happens to be the super moon for this month, put made me remember that the what the super moon for last year, 2021, was I made a special, uh, you know, affair of that moon, and I know it it was it had been something that I just would have totally never had paid attention to, had it not been for what I believe on the 11th of August, where the I was had some knowledge thrown my way, some inspiration, energy, perspective in the Lionsgate portal of last year. But I do recall that for that super moon of last year, that I I made it a, a special deal. You know, I went out, um, I went outside, observed the moon, and I kind of had my own little ceremony, little ritual, if you will, and I stated my intention. I do recall that now. I. I you know, but I do remember using that uh, energy of that full moon and stating my intentions for that time of my life to basically vanish 
all negativity to anything that was holding me back at that point in my life that was that was not necessarily things that I was involved in that weren't necessarily for my highest good, meaning, you know, my higher self and the purpose why I'm here. Uh, and it wasn't really until August 11th that I didn't have that revelation that I was here. And I had never even thought about what a star seed was or heard of star seed or any of that stuff. But for some reason, this notion was in my mind. I do recall that from the August 11th. And I began to devour anything to do with, with, with what a star seed was. And like uh, I bought some books by Patricia Corey, Magenta Pixie, and just started learning and changing my life. And, um, and that was, um, you know, last year, the full moon. I do remember the, the last super, the sturgeon, August moon, super moon, that I had like a little kind of ceremony that I kind of came up with. and But it was essentially nothing more than stating my intention to the universe that this was going to change, that this was going to change, that I was going to, you know, t take care of this, head in this direction. But essentially, it came down to what I felt was banishing negativity and anything that was not for my higher good in my life that it was too big time for it to go for it to move on its way the lessons had been learned that i had been you know allowing myself to go through those lessons had been learned so i want to tell you that today is a very powerful day and that um, i want to encourage um anybody who wants to make change in their life to use today uh the lion's gate portal that we're in along with the super moon uh energies it's that must be doubly powerful you know having those two line up the super moon along with the lion's gate portal which we're still technically in the lion's gate portal it started july 26 and and then apparently the infinity gate it, 8th of august and then but 12th i guess it's still the portal still open until august 12th so take take advantage of it you know, whatever's going on within your world, uh, make the statement of your intention to the universe that you only want what is for your highest good in your life, that you um, that you invite the energies of your higher self, your higher knowledge into your life and, and begin to make change. Um, and, you know, I can only kind of describe it in the sense that, um, you know, what's that quote by uh, Albert Einstein? Um, if, uh, it, you know, the definition of insanity is essentially doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results, you know, there's a, I guess that's attributed to Albert Einstein, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So, you know, if you're kind of in, uh, in that mode in your life, um, change it. Use the, the energies of the cosmos that are available for us um, and set your intentions, speak your intentions that you only want what is for your highest good in your life and going forward. Um, you know, because I also suspect, main, uh, believe like here later on in this month in August, around the 26th, that we're going to, there's going to be a type of solar flash event and it's going to kind of catch people by surprise. Uh, if you're in that kind of ego based, separate, uh, separate, illusion-based ego fear-based living uh you'll kind of that'll be kind of like a flash it just flashes you in the instant and that's where you're at in that reality uh or you can be kind of uh focused with your higher self your higher energy and and then kind of be uh everything in your life will magically begin to arrange itself with with the cosmos and the help of your angels and the higher energies uh will begin to magic will begin to manifest in your life and uh your uh, and your reality will be that reality which is of your highest good of, of only for your highest good so uh you know just 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 do it just uh hit that subscribe button uh know that the own the new earth education uh school here in austin texas is uh even though it's it's the reality is more of a thought in my head and maybe some web present some a web couple websites that I've came up with and but I am gonna I am gonna make it a nonprofit here in the state of Texas and begin to spread uh, positive messages and uh, help the local community out here 
and really do my part to bring in the new earth uh, and the fifth dimensional quality of living that we're all as sons and daughters of God are all uh, meant to have in this life. So, namaste, namaskar.